So a great way to attract new followers is to jump on the buzz of trends and hashtags. So the first great place to find trends is via Google Trends. And this is found at google.com slash trends. So you can see in the past 24 hours, LeBron James, Nike Incorporated. Those are highly searched things within Google. So these are keywords and hashtags to include within your Twitter post because these are highly searched things currently. Next is Google Alerts. So if your brand is about online marketing, you would want to set the keyword alerts for when new articles or blog posts about entrepreneurship or social media marketing are published. So you can see in my Google Alerts, entrepreneurship, social media marketing, when a new article or new content is posted on Google, I am alerted at my Google Gmail email account, and it's usually great blog articles and great content on those two subjects, on big reputable brands like entrepreneur.com, social media bloggers, things like that. And what does this equate? Great content to post in your tweets. Remember what I told you, my highest engaging tweets are when I share very relative links that help my users. So this is why I have Google Alerts in place to tell me when there's great new content created on the internet for me to repost on my Twitter, on my other social media platforms. Next, I pair Google Trends and Google Alerts with my Twitter Moments. Remember, Twitter Moments in that top nav bar. When you click that, you'll see what users, hashtags, and keywords are trending on Twitter at this moment. So again, use these trends, keywords, and hashtags in your tweets, and you may be featured on this moments page, or when someone clicks a hashtag, your tweet will show up in the newsfeed for that specific hashtag. So it's a great way to get discovered via people just looking for what's happening right now. And they see, oh, this person's got a very interesting point of view on this hashtag, on this topic. I'm going to follow them just because I liked them in this moment. I'm assuming everything they put out is just this good. So with trending content, I practice the following three steps. First is to add thoughts and opinions based on the news or trending topic. Even write a blog post about it on your own blog to share on Twitter. You're double dipping there. You're creating content for your own blog, adding these relevant keywords that you found either on Twitter moments or on Google Trends. So you're increasing the searchability of your blog Plus, you're jumping on these hot hashtags on Twitter, possibly. Number two, take retweetable quotes from the article. Here's an example I recently used. Twitter is hands down the most targeted ad network. Look at this example. So I wrote an article about niche advertising via the Twitter advertising platform. And then I just copied that great quote out of that full article, pasted it into my tweet, and then finished the tweet with the link to that blog post. At the end of the tweet, if I still had any room, I added a hashtag that was actually trending that day about a Twitter update. So it was a trifecta. I created a great blog post. I pulled a quote from it that intrigued people to click that link, and I jumped on the hashtag that was trending that day about a Twitter update. Number three, ask questions. I like to get people curious about the trending topic and get their input on it. What do they think of this trending thing? What do they think about this news topic? People love your opinion, but they love their own even more. So the best part about these tips, you can use all three methods to tweet the same blog post multiple times. Don't ever feel like you can only tweet a topic once. I minimally share a blog post three times. Look at any of the big Twitter handles. Scroll down their feed and you'll see they're constantly resharing content or repurposing content every three to four days. Because think about it, you're not going to be hitting the same people in your audience. One person may get on their Twitter at noon while another gets on at 6 p.m. So I'll share a blog post at noon on Monday. I'll share a quote from it and a link to it at 6 p.m. the next day. Then I'll ask a question relating to my blog post in the morning the next day. It's a great way to constantly keep your Twitter feed full of relevant content and engage all of your audience throughout the day. Next are hashtags. Use these hashtags to create 
and curate conversations around your brand. Here's an example. A charity challenge it's following to try to eat one day on under $5 and to tweet about their experience with the hashtag, hashtag hunger challenge. So they created a unique hashtag to their experience and usually throw your brand name within that hashtag. But when anybody clicks this, when they see a tweet with hashtag hunger challenge, they click this, it's going to pull up a news feed of every tweet that has included that hashtag. So by creating unique hashtags for your brand, you can make a topic viral on Twitter and really create a lot of buzz around your cause or your sale or whatever promotion you're running. Next, partake in Twitter chats via hashtags. So simply go to Google and search your industry keyword with the keyword Twitter chats next to it. So if you're a chef, you could type in food Twitter chats, cooking Twitter chats, recipes Twitter chats. So Twitter chats are the best way to connect with like-minded users on Twitter. So an example, hashtag FBloggers. So this is for all the fashion bloggers. There's a specific fashion-related chat using the hashtag FBloggers on Friday nights at 3 p.m. Eastern. So anybody interested in talking about fashion will get on at 3 p.m. on Friday, and every tweet they post includes that hashtag. So search a few Twitter chats and look at the history on that hashtag to see what people talk about, see how they collaborate, see how they share and talk about retweeting each other's items. It's really interesting the collaboration that can take part across the world just via these Twitter chats. And finally is advanced Twitter search. This is at twitter.com backslash search dash advanced. You can find people talking about your business, product, or service and tweet reply directly to their handle. So an example, I helped a contractor in Los Angeles find people who actually typed in the keyword contractor in their tweet. Most of the posts were older, but these are still people you can reply at and say, for future home repairs, message us, we do same day repairs, and then finish the tweet with their domain. So you can see what I did in the words any of these words, contractor, so anybody who tweeted with the word contractor in it and lived near Los Angeles. So if somebody said, ugh, sink is broken, anybody know of a good contractor? Maybe that was posted a month ago, but this contractor just clicked reply on that tweet. It came up with at that person's name. Then you can just type in your tweet right here. For future home repairs, message us. We do same day repairs. Here's our brand tweet. So the next time that person logs on in their notifications, they'll see an at handle reply to them. And then they'll click your link. They may follow you and they may check out your website. So again, with this advanced search, you can search any words, phrases, or hashtags on all accounts or from specific accounts. I can just search one specific handle by typing in that handle right here. 